Okay, good day to all of you. So we are here on our first topic on uh, lesson four on polyphase systems, which is power factor correction. So again, to those who are new, please subscribe to this channel if if you feel that you have some information that uh, you want to know and for review sessions as well so that if you subscribe there will be a notification bell that you are notified that there is a new video that is uh, being released or uploaded on my channel okay let us uh, first uh, discuss or uh, uh, define what is power factor correction so power factor correction is a process of increasing the power factor now you need to go back to the uh, to our previous lessons so that you can know what is power factor all about that power factor is the cosine angle theta wherein here the theta is the difference between the voltage and current angles okay so the power factor can be computed on the triangle wherein you have two triangles of the impedance and the s and without leaving the voltage and current you know, to the original load. So what's the meaning of this last phrase? Without leaving the voltage and current to the original load. It means that whatever happens, your load or the power of your load or real power of the load must be constant all throughout or all of the time. Okay, so under, to understand power factor correction, I usually use used rather a vector or phasor diagram that we already introduced on lesson 3. Okay, we need to consider two diagrams. Okay, the first diagram here is a voltage source and you supply an inductive load. Okay, please take note also, if you have an inductive load, Okay, inducted load. Okay, uh, one characteristic is in terms of uh, statement. Okay, the current will lag the voltage by a certain angle theta. Okay, simply because when you say an inductive load is a combination of a of a resistance and a coil, I uh, and a inductance L. So it's like an inductive coil. An inductive coil has an, an internal resistance and an inductance which is depends on number of turns which is L. Okay? So, here, directly and considering, again, we are already in polyphase system, we are considering AC as our voltage. So, the source is sinusoidal. So, here is a series circuit. IL is simply equal to I in this case. Okay? Okay, now, since you have an inductive load, you will consider that the power factor of this one is very low. That is one characteristic of an inductive load. Okay? So, when you say inductive load, you have air conditioned units, washing, mach washing machines, uh, three-phase motors. Those are an example of inductive load. So, they have a low power factor from 0.6 to point F, I 0.8 rather. So, 0.6 to 0.8. Now, to uh, supplement or to... Uh, uh, have a higher power factor at the low uh, at the uh, at the supply side you're clear considering here by the way when you say power factor correction is on the source side so meaning to say it must be at the power factor at the terminals you know, of the uh, of the load so so here the power factor here which is dependent on the voltage and the current angles okay here we consider now the relationship of you have a capacitor that is connected in parallel. So that's why that is power factor correction. So what will happen to the vector of the current? Okay, by a simple KCL, whatever the current that is entering, leaving the node. This is from DC circuits, so this is networks. So I simply equal to IC, IL vector. Okay, now to understand it further, uh, how can you uh, how can you explain power factor correction? And please take note, by the way, when you say power factor, you have no, okay, a value that is one, a value 
that is uh, lesser than 1, no? which is lesser than 1, and a value which is power factor at 0. So it means from 0 to 1 is the value okay, of the power factor. Okay. Now let us go further to the phasor diagram and let us have the first statement on this circuit. Okay, if you do that, okay, so we have here voltage, uh, the current will lag the voltage V by a certain angle. Please take note that our reference here is the voltage simply because on both conditions, the voltage is in parallel with the C and the uh, uh, inductive load. The inductive load, I could say ZL in this, in this case. So the current will lag the voltage by a certain angle. Okay, that will happen. It will become like this. Okay, this is the current. So we already described this one, know, how to develop phasor diagrams on our lecture uh, on AC circuits. So here the current simply equal to IL, definitely. With an angle, I could say um, at a 1. Okay, now if we go, that is the, uh, the uh, uh, phasor diagram of this circuit. I could say circuit number this is I, and this is double I. Okay, now next, we go to circuit 2, double I here. You can see here that the current IC will be added now to the total current I, simply because on the first circuit, I is equal to IL, simply they are the same, vectorially. Now, we need to have this one on this circuit, I on the, rather, on the phasor diagram, and one thing that we have discussed so far no, from our phasor diagram is in terms of the voltage, in terms of uh, uh, on a capacitor, IC will lead V by a certain angle, 90 degree. Okay, so for this, this is your IC, 90 degree. Why? Because this is a capacitor alone. Okay, what we have discussed if you can still recall on some of the problems, we can use an envelope diagram so you can project this one here and make this as IC. Okay, instead of this position. Simply because when I say phasor diagram, is the relationship of two important variables, voltage and current. Okay, this is IC. Okay, now this is not the whole diagram for the current. And simply, be, and one more thing. On the second figure here, the voltage is constant. So in this case, we need to have IL to be added with IC. So in this case, to get the total current at the source. Okay, I could say this is total. Uh, this is uh, I, total I. Because this is IL and you add IC, total current I. Now, what you can see here is your theta 2, okay, theta 2, because you place a capacitor, okay, on the circuit. Okay, now, to explain it more further, the charging current will be dependent upon the voltage at the capacitor, and you divide it by the capacitive reactance. V all over X, right? So it means in terms of the capacitor alone, you have a reactance. So you can still recall reactance XC is 1 over omega C, right? So if you uh, if you uh, arrange this, okay, the answer will be, okay, J omega C times VC. Simply because here you have 1 all over J, if you still recall, okay, for your XC. And that is vector. Okay. To cut the chase here, if you increase the capacitor value, you will increase the charging current. Okay, so that's why we can have another scenario here. If I increase the value of the capacitor, the magnitude of, the, of your capacitor current will also increase. So I can increase here IC. So I could say IC1 now. Okay, this is IC1. So if IC will be there, then, okay, I can project this again here. And then you have new, the new value of 
I see, which is I can say I see too. And then you have your uh, current that is flowing here. So the the uh, uh, the uh, power of the load here will be constant. So that is the uh, uh, load current there. You just adjusting the capacitor value, and then adjusting the magnitude of the current. Now this will be the new value. Okay, if you can see on the camera here, uh, this will be I prime. Okay, from I. Okay, and then you have here angle 3, theta 3. Okay, to cut the chase here, eventually, eventually, this is IC. Eventually, your main objective here is that your voltage B must be in phase with the total current I angle because you're considering now okay your power factor if the power factor is one is good it means that on the triangle if it's still recall the apparent power is in phase now with p or in terms of the admittance i rather uh, impedance triangle the z is in phase now with the resistance so in terms of the angle okay or angle which is theta b myself, they are in phase now if you can see if you can still uh, increasing the value of the capacitance so it means the power factor is simply equal to one if the angle is zero degree wherein the angle will become zero degree if b and i are in phase which is other so the moral lesson of the story is if you increase the capacitance in a certain value it will also change the angle displacements, wherein the current will move upward or the source current will move in this manner, in the upward manner, until V is in phase with I. And if the voltage and the current are in phase with each other, the angle theta of the power factor is zero. And if you compute cosine zero, the answer is unity power factor. Ah, rather no unit unity power factor so that's the principle itself and please take note please take note that we use voltage and current here there's also the same thing on the triangle on the powers where in your s will be in phase with your real power p okay we will discuss the problems you know or the sum of the formulas here for power factor correction on the next slide. Hello and good day to all of you. So we will continue our discussion on power factor correction. And this is the continuation of what we have discussed from our last slide. So as a uh, uh, recap, we have discovered that in power factor correction, if you increase the capacitor, it will increase the charging current. And increasing the charging current will eventually okay change the total current and in the long run in the long run the voltage and the current okay uh, phasors will be in phase with each other or simply in other words the angle displacement between voltage and current will become zero and the power factor eventually becomes power factor unity so we can apply that fundamental here at the power triangle wherein we have the complex power triangle the s p and q and please take note that we have already also uh discussed this one that the power of the load will be constant it will not change it will not be affected so in this case if we increase the capacitor it will also increase the uh power okay the capacitive reactive power in such a way that the new value of S2 will become, K okay, or S, okay, will become in phase which, uh, with each other with P. And thus, in this case, the power will be equal to S and the Q here eventually will become zero or the reactive element. Okay, and thus, our main goal is having S is in phase with P or simply S is equal to P, and thus the power factor will become equal to 1. Okay, in this case, 
the theta 1 here is the old power factor angle, and theta 2 is the new power factor angle. Considering if you want to uh, uh, increase the power factor to a certain level from the old value, for example, 0.6 to 0.95. Now, we have this equation here. QC will be equal to Q1 minus Q2 or the difference between okay, the old reactive to the new reactive power. Also in the triangle, Q is equal to P tangent theta. And thus, uh, substituting in this equation here, we can have QC is equal to P tangent theta 1 minus tangent theta 2, which is a very, very important equation as well. So, we already discussed QC in terms of voltage and reactive power. I react capacitive reactance rather. So, capacitive, rea react capacitive reactance is 1 over omega C. And thus, if we arrange, if we increase C, it will also increase QC. And thus, you can now get the capacitor value having the K bar value all over the omega angular frequency times the line to line voltage squared. If that is single phase, this value of the voltage is the voltage that is given on the problem. But if that is three phase, you need to have a value of three, depends on the capacitor uh, arrangement. If the capacitor arrangement is Y, QC is V squared all over XC per phase. This is in terms of per phase basis. And if that is in delta, the connection is in delta. So you need to multiply it by 3. Or in other words, if you want to get okay, the capacitor in delta, you need to divide it by 3 on this equation. If that is 3 phase. And if not, delta, or that is y, leave the equation as is. Okay? So it means you divide it by 3 if that is delta. Otherwise, there's no divisor by 3. Now, we can now solve problems in power factor correction.